Hi, I'm Kelsey and I'm 16 and I've done a lot of fishing in my life and I'm interested in the fishing industry. Well, we've got just the experience for you, Kelsey. Sea Lord make a range of food from fish fillets that are shipped overseas to value-added frozen products we all know and love. Food technologist Fritz Hoffman will be showing you all the jobs involved in getting the fish to your plate. Hi, Kelsey, nice to meet you. Fritz Hoffman, pleased to meet you. Welcome to Sea Lord. Thank you. You know a little bit about the fishing industry? Yeah, I've been fishing yes. with my parents, yeah. So would you like to come and have a look around at our fishing plant and yep. see what we're, what we're up to and what yeah. products we're making? Yeah, that'd be good. Can you come with me and we'll have a look. People who are successful in, in the food processing industry are people who are enthusiastic about food, know a bit about food, are keen to provide people with healthy food. Okay, Kelsey, here's the fishing board. This is where it all starts. The fish is being brought in into the factory through the fishing board. This board's been out for three months, catching fish, and now it's being processed through the factory into the products we are we're going to look at. We all hate finding hair in our food, so hygiene is top of the list when you are processing fish for Sea Lord. Hair nets and protective clothing are worn at all times. Boots go through an antiseptic wash and hands are cleaned every time you enter the factory. This uh, thawed out and then it comes through here and it's been cleaned up. The first stop is the wet fish factory where hokey come off the boat semi-processed and ready to be filleted. The trio skinning machine gets rid of the scales. Blemishes are cut out and the fillets are sliced into prime cuts. The remaining muscle lines and other leftovers are pulped and frozen into blocks. Now Kelsey gets a chance to fillet her own fish. Hi Kelsey, my name is Mike. I'm here to teach you how to fillet fish. Uh, the main safety things are having a sharp knife and a safety glove so you don't cut your fingers. A good filleter is somebody who can quickly remove the fillets from the bone, producing a safe product with a good yield. Those people are worth a lot to the company and we really value these people. Just trying to hit that bone there, that main bone there, and just sliding down. Just like that, just following that backbone. Just keep flipping over like that. And you start back at the top, and just follow it down like that, just over the rib cage. Okay, now I'm going to let you have your turn. Do you feel comfortable with that? Yep. Good. Now it's Kelsey's turn to show what she can do with a blade. You turn it over, so you got the back towards you. Yep. Feel the bone and just push, slide it down that way. Kelsey is slicing blind, using the feel of the knife against the bone to get the job done. So what's the trick to doing this? It's just um, having, having a good grip of your knife and just putting a bit of weight downwards on your knife pressure. Yeah. yeah. And just trying to slice it, you know, instead of little little cuts, just yeah. slicing like that. Yeah. Okay. So what do I do now? And you're just watching the end of this knife here, going along that See the fin bones there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where you've got to try and aim. Just go along the top of those. Yep. 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 Cool. Cool. And, and just lift the fillet off. Yep. Now this is the end fillet. You've done really well. It's, um, it's awesome, really, for your first attempt. Pretty good. The fillets might not make prime cuts, but they could make the next batch of fish fingers. The hokey fillet piece blocks are frozen solid now and ready to be sliced into everyone's favourite fish snack. So here's some planks as they come out of the line, they're cut into planks. The blocks are sawn into planks, then fingers. They travel down the conveyor belt in order to be covered in batter and brew crumbs before being cooked in oil for 20 seconds. The fingers are packed and shipped out across the country, but there is still more work to do. Kelsey grabs some raw fish fingers to help Fritz develop a new product for Sea Lord. Okay, here we are in the R&D kitchen and we're going to have a look at some coating systems, Kelsey. Here's a dry batter made from sweet potato flour and we can put some water with that and make a batter mix. It's a Kumra batter and Fritz is convinced it will work best with a Kumra crumb. But maybe Italian, tomato and onion or vegetable will do a better job. Which will Kelsey choose? But I think you should choose one of these crumbs and have a look and see what you think. Um, the vegetable crumb. Would you like to go yep. for the vegetable crumb? Initially when, when we start developing a new product, we look at the marketing side and we, we measure flavour profiles. After that, in the second phase, we actually are trying to make the product commercially. Mm. Alright, what about this one? You'll find this one quite different. That one's really sweet.
It's quite different from the fish fingers you've seen made in the factory, isn't it? Yeah. But what we're trying to do is get something a little bit bit more maybe up market, a bit different. A food technologist has to develop interesting flavours and new products. But each idea must also work on the factory floor, so Kelsey has to mimic the factory's process as closely as possible. A bit of a tap, like in a fish and chip shop, you see them doing that when they do fish and chips. The deep frying reveals two quite different fish fingers, the golden chunky kumara and the refined vegetable, but which will taste better? Kelsey will have to freeze them overnight before finding out. The food technologist also develops the recommended cooking instructions. In this case, four minutes aside at 200 degrees Celsius. Fritz is pretty confident about his kumara coating, so can Kelsey's veggie finger take first prize? So now we can have a taste and see which one we think is the best one. Yep. All right. It's important for Sea Lord to develop new products to keep customers loyal to their brand, and getting it right can take up to a year. Okay, you've got the results there, what, so what do you think? Um, I think that the Kumar one is really sweet. Okay. And I like the vegetable one. Why do you like the vegetable one? Because uh, it tastes like it should be on fish, like it goes with the fish. Oh, that's great. That, that will give us a start for maybe some new products and we'll get lots more people to have a look at it one day and you never know. It might end up in the shop one day. <laughs> huh? I think Kelsey did very well. She was very attentive during the last two days. She was with, with me here. I think she enjoyed it. And, uh, and I hope she's taking up a career in the seafood industry at some stage. She's learned a few skills, like filleting fish, and um, it's great to have her around. Well, thank you for coming to Sea Lord for the last two days, and yeah. I hope you had a great time. I did. It was what, what, did you, what did you enjoy best? Um, filleting the fish, it was a real interesting experience. Yeah, I'll definitely be using that skill when I go back home with my dad when we go out fishing. New Zealand companies process a range of species from fresh and seawater fish to crustaceans and shellfish. Processing occurs on board trawlers as well as land. Seafood processing factories also deal with smoking or canning product. The processing sector holds a wide range of career opportunities, from filleter and trimmer to quality assurance manager and factory manager. CETO can assist in training opportunities that may see you start at one end of the process line and move up into a management role. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.